to me, Mr. JJ. Now, can you just please tell me the difference between the Nigerian team of your generation compared to this generation? Because I know for a fact that 94 team is the most talented team in football history. I believe that we would have won that World Cup in 94 or 98. So what separates your generation from our gen generation with the likes of Iwobi and Iannaccio? What do they have to do to get up to your standard, talent-wise? Well, it's, it's a difficult question. I mean, um, the hunger that we had then, the, the hunger to succeed, I think, um, it, it's different because these players have got almost everything, and um, they are humans as well. So when you when you get things easy, it seems to get carried away a bit. So, um, I, but I think. Um, they are doing well, you know, it's, it's hard to compare, you know, this generation with our generation because their mindset is also different. You know? So, um, I, we just have to encourage them and I mean, hopefully they will meet up to our expectations. Thanks. And I don't know, so just a moment, and like, you see in like Nigeria, they have won the Under-17 World Cup the most times. So why can't we translate what we do at the junior level to the senior level? Is this the coaching? Is it the players? What is the disconnect between how well we do under 17 and how well we do in the senior level? Well, I think that's where the administration should, should, should come in, you know, put in a structure in a place that will enable those players to graduate, you know, instead of scouting for already made players. So um, it's all about putting good structure. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much, JJ. Thank you.